guys, what's up? It's Eli Diamond Knight Jiu Jitsu, and uh, Dustin and I are going to do a video about some neon belly escapes. And um, I've got a couple other videos where I, sh I mention one or two here and there, um, and some side control escapes too, so check those out. But this one's going to be specifically about neon belly because there's different routes I might want to take depending on the energy the guy gives me on top. And this can be a really miserable position here if he's on top neon belly like this here. So he, he could be put in different amounts of pressure here. It may be more of, more of a riding one where there's not a ton of pressure, or it may be one where he's just trying to smash my guts out and get a big reaction out of me. So um, whatever is the case, we, his hands may be on my shoulders, they may be on the floor, they may be one on the back of my collar and one on my hip, which is probably one of the better configurations for him. So uh, we can kind of talk about all of those. So um, <clears throat> one that I like a whole lot, and I'll talk about why it's good and a problem with it too, is that if um, this hand is not too like domineering and pressing and cross facing me here, is to turn on my side. So I'm gonna make this kind of like, I call it a big nose cover here. Uh, so like this way here, I wanna turn and face uh, his hips and his leg. And then I wanna get this arm here, like to tuck inside. So this is one where it's good, like if he's a little bit more up and there's a little bit of gap right here. I can also increase that gap by bumping with my knee here a little bit to get the space. Then I turn on my side. I'm gonna bring this arm to grab my top leg here. It's not my bottom, it's my top leg like this here. Now, once I get this here, pretty soon after, I would like to try to reach this one and grab a hold of his pant leg. The reason for that is, is one, to increase the leverage for me to be able to do the move, but also to stop him from spinning and switching sides on me. So I want to grab here and here, and then I'm going to scoop my hips underneath him to make him light, and then to finish the sweep like this right here. Right now, from this position here, I tend to like to come up with my foot and turn this into like a leg drag. So when I come up, I don't have to worry about him replacing guard on me or anything like that. <clears throat> so one more time on this one here, a couple of key concepts. I want there to be space right here. If there's not enough space, I might increase the space by kind of bumping in the butt like that. I bring my top arm over, I reach through, grab a hold of my leg like this here. If I can get the pants at this moment right here, this is good too. I wanna to pull this, try to hook here, scoop my hips underneath him so I don't have to pull him all the way across me. And then look, come in, kick this foot across, come up into this leg drag type position like this. One of the problems with it is sometimes he'll be so really uh, strong on that cross face, he might not allow me to do that. Um, and also he may switch sides, like I mentioned before. So I'll give you a couple other options here if I feel like that might be uh, potentially something that's gonna happen. If he's doing a good job kind of cross-facing me here like this and kind of making it difficult for me, um, one that I like a whole lot is if I try to get up on my side a little bit, turn and face him here, at least with my lower body, and shrimp out like that, I wanna put my knee into this space if that's available. So inside here like this, I get my shin into the bicep. If I'm flexible enough and he allows me to do it, I may be able to like lasso inside here and do the same kind of thing. Right? So whether it's here or just with my shin, I'm gonna do the same idea as before where I scoot my hips underneath him here like this. This one's great because whenever I come up, I've got a little bicep slicer right here if that's legal for you to do in a tournament. <clears throat> if I'm not flexible enough to get this foot all the way around and lasso it, I can just get this one inside. I can grab the cuff here or grab the wrist. I got the pant, I got the sleeve here, and then I'll scoot my hips underneath him this way like this. Right? We come up, maybe I can pin his bicep, or maybe I can switch out to my own neon belly like that. Another one here is <clears throat> for like this here, right? And um, I, I feel like maybe he's gonna play more of a dynamic one, and he might be switching sides, he might be putting pressure on, taking pressure off, or whatever, is if he gives me the space available, then I want this hand here, I'm gonna come inside, and I'm gonna grab the knot here, Sam, just I want to grab the knock of his belt here like this, so my fist is dead center in his lower abdomen that way here, right? From that position, I want to reach down and I want to grab his ankle either. I can scoop in front here like this, or just hold behind here. This is a little better if I can, and then I want to scoop my hips away and push, punch into his hip like this here, right? Now, from that point here, I want to try to get up, pick up the leg here like this, and then I have a hold of this leg here. Maybe I can even start to go into a foot lock or a toe hold like that, right? So again, that one is, once we get here, I may get a hold here like this, either the belt or the pants here like that, and I'm gonna push into his pelvis here like this, and I'm gonna scoop underneath like that if I can, and just get to here. I don't want him switching sides, I don't want him to come down and staple my arm. So once I get to that position here, I wanna scoot out here, scoop, pick up, and then control this way, right? 
uh, from here, another one that I can possibly do, if the situation is right, if the situation feels appropriate for it, is I wanna scoop here and sigh. Again, I don't wanna get this low and then have him staple my arm to the floor if he comes off a knee on belly. But I wanna reach and grab underneath this side here. So I'm grabbing kind of like a steering wheel this way. I scoop one and two right here, and then I'm gonna bring my legs around. I have to be careful that whenever I do this, I don't present this for him for like a toe hold. But what I'd like to do at this point here is whenever I pull, so I want to come through and I want to pick at the leg like this. If I play my cards right, this foot stays hidden here. I've got this leg extended and maybe I can start to go into a knee bar or possibly into another toe hole here like this it's because I'm encircled around the leg like that. If he decides that he wants to turn out one way or another, then whenever he comes around and I still have a pretty good control on this leg, if I mess up everything or I miss anything, then I can just try to come up and regain the top position. <clears throat> is here once we get here. This is a good one, I think, whenever he first gets here and he doesn't have time to really settle into the position. So I'm gonna scoop here one, I think reach underneath two like this here. I'm gonna bring this around, I'm gonna spin, like a little back spin kind of move here like this, pick up. I like to try to keep this up here nice and high and pinch on the ankle there like that. And again, if I can get the knee bar out of it, cool. If I can get the toe hole, cool. But the big thing about this one and about all these, honestly, is whenever I'm in a position quite that bad, like side control or bottom knee on belly or, or anything, me upgrading, even if I get to a neutral position, it's still an upgrade. So I don't wanna get greedy about it and be like, well, I have to, if this uh, escape doesn't get me to a dominant position, then it's no good. It's absolutely good because it gets me out of a horrible position. So kind of keep that in mind and be patient with it. Um, watch for those details. Be careful not to overexpose arms and legs like that. But anyway, guys, let me know what you think about these Neon Belly Escapes. And uh, if you have some other good ones or some comments or whatever, let me know too. I appreciate you watching Night Jiu-Jitsu channel. Like, subscribe, share, all that stuff.